So what's going on YouTubers? This is DIY Dan and uh, we're going to install a security door, security screen door today. And uh, got a couple out of the norm things we got to take care of. The first one is, is if you notice um, this rise piece of trim here. So we're going to have to cut that just to barely fit so the frame of the security door will fit. And then uh, back in the day when I had a security screen door, I got broken into. And I'm going to show you how to kind of strengthen this up a little bit um, because they came right through my security screen door. So I was planning on, this is my mom's house. and. Uh, I figured this was going to be nice and easy, didn't realize this was here, so I'm not using the best of tools right now, but basically I just used a handsaw and went straight up that edge there. Alright, so went ahead and cut diagonal angle this way, all the way to my cut, then came in this way, all the way to the cut. And then I'm just going to finish it off with a heavy duty putty knife to snap it off of there. Alright guys, so uh, what I've done is basically just got a bunch of miscellaneous wood here. I stacked it up so I could set the door on it uh, to cover my gap. I put one screw in which that bit that came with the uh, thing kind of chewed that up a little bit. We're going to need a little touch-up paint. But anywho, uh, now basically going to put a level on the side of here and put it plumb level so we can drill and anchor the other two in. Uh, I just want to check level on this before you anchor the other two in. All right, guys, so uh, leveled that side went ahead and installed all three screws like i said it chipped up a little bit because the tool that came with it i don't know where my tool went and the tool that came with it was a little cheap so but it did pull them down you can get some touch-up paint for that um, now we're going to install the other side and this is what i do to reinforce this because i've heard of uh, people actually breaking into these by just putting a pry bar in between here and snapping this and just leveraging these off because a lot of times on these trims this is you're just going into the trim i try and catch a two by four when i do mine but you never really know with where these bars end up so they give you an extra plate to go up top and what i do instead is i double this up just to give added support so you're pulling against two sets of screws instead of just one So I had bought this one with my first screen that I did, and I've never had the problem with uh, kind of skipping off the, those screws when I was using this drill bit. <clears throat> um, this is the one that came in the kit that I kept slipping off of. So you can kind of see the difference. Um, this is just a big flathead screwdriver. This catches a lot more surface area of those screws. So just a thought, I think this was like 15 bucks when I bought it. All right, so pre-drilling this hole with a 316. I'll run the screw in. Now, this is the reason, if you notice how easy the screw goes in, because it's only going into the trim, which is why I put that second brace the way I do. And we're going to do that next. Okay guys, so uh, all done. Works good, deadbolt works, everything's nice. Um, and as you can see, that bar that I put here, I think it's supposed to go up top, but I've never put it there since I've had that, because somebody can get a crowbar in there and pry this away from it. And this is just adds an extra layer to make it harder. Instead of just three screws and a single bar, you're prying away five screws and a double bar. All right? So I'm just going to give you one last glimpse of that bar there so you can see that it doesn't look bad at all. It looks totally natural being in that position. So, And it doesn't really do anything for you up top that I can tell. Um, so instead of 
a little bit of trim up top you've got extra security on the on the uh, door handle all right later have a good one